can propranolol, which costs less than $1 a day, allow us to use less sedatives in intubated patients without any additional harm? The PROACTIVE trial is a multi-center, open-label, randomized controlled trial in three Canadian ICUs during an era where there were shortages of sedatives. 72 patients were enrolled. Adults on mechanical ventilation with high sedative needs were randomized to usual care, plus or minus enteral propranolol. 20 to 60 milligrams every six hours, titrated by hemodynamics and RAS. At day three, the sedative dose fell more with propranolol, approximately 54% versus 34%. On-target sedation was achieved more often with 48% versus 35% of RAS assessments. There was no signal of harm where mortality and adverse events were similar between both groups. Bradycardia events were not increased. Why does this matter? Well, propranolol is not expensive, it's oral, and it penetrates the central nervous system. All in all, this could act as a sedative sparing adjunct, and this could potentially help in shortages as well as resource-limited settings. There are some caveats in this, as this is an open-label design, small size, and other limitations to these data. Hat tip to the authors, don't forget to read these data for yourself, and check out the vasopressor and dinotrope handbook.